Back here in our region, a stampede, stampede of young Mustangs flooded Cal Poly today as the university welcomed over 5,500 freshmen and transfer students. KSBY News reporter Asia Gore was there for the move in today and joins us now live from campus with more on the big day. Asia. Well, Dustin, with the start of the new school year comes the ceremonial welcoming of fresh new faces and some of them lucky enough to get a stay in some of the new dorms. Meeting new people, environment, hanging out, finding my way around it, not getting lost. A new wave of freshman students washes over Cal Poly campus. Students like Cambria native Spencer Allen excited for that first taste of freedom. For many of these students, green and gold runs in the family. My brother goes here. He'll be a senior this year. It's comforting because moving from home is kind of scary for me, so it'll be nice to have him around and a lot of fun. Pamela DeLuca gave a send off to her youngest of three enrolled at Cal Poly. This third round of goodbyes isn't quite as emotional. Not so much. <laughs> I have to be honest with you, but it's fun. It's, it's exciting knowing that they'll all be together. The students in this wing of campus will live in the newest freshman dorms built since 1970. Each building named for a Central Coast region and animal in a northern Chumash dialect. Eloeje, named for swordfish, Paso Robles. I think the collaboration that Cal Poly has with the northern Chumash community here is, is amazing. For students, it's a crash course in pronunciation. Chuk Chukakunit? I'm in the new one. I don't really know how to pronounce it, but I'll learn. These dorms complete with full kitchens, recreation areas, and now culture. For New Zealand native Kevin Zhang, it's the culture of the Central Coast he's most excited to learn. American culture. We really like American music. Whether they come from far away or just up Highway 101, these students are eager to learn and make memories. Hopefully making a close-knit group of friends that I'll keep forever. And the eight-day week of welcome helps get students uh, associated with the culture of campus as well as the resources avail available to them here at school. Live in San Luis Obispo, I'm Asia Gore, KSBY News. A lot of fun ahead. Thank you very much, Asia. Classes for the fall quarter begin this Thursday.